Welcome, Capricorn. I'm Brenda, and I'm here today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading and oracle reading for the week of February the 4th to the 11th, 2019. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to them. Please be sure to click the bell button so that you'll get notified immediately when these go out on YouTube. As you know, this is a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Capricorn out there. But if it does, take what you can from it and let the rest go out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you and ask you to go to my website and there you'll see the services that I offer. Okay, my beautiful Capricorns. At the bottom of the deck, the general energy you got was the Six of Earth. This is a beautiful card. This is a beautiful card of getting things balanced, uh, being aligned, and also receiving great gifts when this happens. When we're aligned on our path and we are balanced, things, seems to, things seem to fall in place for us uh, that bring us abundance and success. Some of you may be getting this in the form of money. Some of you may be receiving this in the form of time that you've requested. And others are going to be getting recognized for the efforts that they've made. This is a beautiful card of abundance and good luck. This is all about gifts coming in. Now, if some of you uh, have applied, uh, also it has to do with receiving money. If you've uh, applied and requested to borrow, you will get that. Those of you that have long-standing debt that you've been wanting to clear, you'll have the resources to do that as well. So this is about receiving gifts this week. This is about gifts coming in in many forms uh, to you in the material world and also in, in the spiritual aspect of it. Your first card, though, that you got is the Eight of Air, and that is the Eight of Swords. And, you know, it shows me that some of you are in a situation in your life right now where you're absolutely feeling like you're trapped. Um, you know, you don't know where you're going. You don't know which direction to move. Uh, you're not seeing uh, an issue clearly. Uh, you, you, you've kind of got yourself uh, in a box where you, you've made yourself imagine and see what you're seeing is what's actually happening. And it's not. What happens is uh, we allow those negative thoughts to take uh, the lead on our path and our headspace. So it's time to remove the, the blinders and know that you can overcome whatever this worry that you have here. If you see, you know, yourself in the lead here, the lead horse, and everybody's trying to chase you down, and that's how you're feeling. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling like everybody's against you. You're feeling like the situation is not going to improve. Please know all you have to do. They're way behind you. They're not on your heels. They're way behind you in the distance. So stop worrying about this situation. Take your blindfold off. You're able to move forward. Uh, let those negative thoughts go from your mind. Don't allow them, like I said, to take precedence, okay? We allow those negative things sometimes when we're down and out. And, you know, we only see the, the, the negative in a situation and how is it going to get better. Please know that you have that capability of moving forward, okay? Because what it does is it cripples you. It leaves you stuck in a position where where you lose confidence, where you're afraid to move forward and take action, okay? So it's an illusion. It's an illusion in our mind that we create off and on when we get into these situations. Now, some of you may be dealing with a justice issue, situation. Uh, some of you may be dealing with this situation that has to do with legal issues and lawyers because often the air cards, they do have to do with uh, with dealing with situations that are legal issues. Uh, so, you know what, it's about making major decisions and choices. Often we're faced with at this time, and you may be, you know, at a crossroads. You may be stuck here where you think, ah, oh, do I go this way? Do I go that way? No matter what I do, it's not going to be right. It's an illusion, okay? So stop thinking those negative thoughts. Get rid of it so that you can charge ahead and stay in the lead. That's where you belong, and that's where it shows you coming out. So please know, Capricorn, that you know what? Uh, you've allowed these negative thoughts to take over. Let them go. Throw them out into the universe. Look at the whole picture and realize that you have the ability to uh, get the information that you need, get the counsel that you need, take the advice that you need to take that's positive to help you get through this issue. Now, how odd, after you got that one, I should never say this, is that you got awakening. And awakening is also the hangman in traditional tarot, okay? Um, this is all about... Uh, this is all about you looking at things in a different perspective. Something major has happened. 
something's happened on your path in your life and you've had to look at things differently if things were not working out okay if things were not working out for you in the beginning you have now had an awakening you've now looked at things differently with a different perspective you're going to change things up you're going to tweak the way things were because looking back you're realizing it wasn't working. So uh, you were stuck. It was like you were hanging in limbo. Nothing was moving, okay? Comes back to that first card again. Nothing was moving in a positive direction for you, where you wanted to go. But you've had awakening. You've learned now. And you've realized that this wasn't getting you anywhere. And you know, if you look there, he's not really tethered. He's not tied down. He's got one leg there, you know, hanging there. And he's got his hands behind his head. Look at the sun around him. Okay, he has all that positive energy within himself to change this. He can change this. He can get off that pole at any time he wants to get off. And things are going to improve. All that sun and all that light around his head means that he has the resources to do this. And so do you. So you have the resources here, Capricorn, to tweak things, change things up a bit. That They weren't working the way they should have been in the past for you. You've learned those lessons. And it's like you've had an awakening. It's like, boing, you've had this epiphany that's come over you, Capricorn. And you've said, well, why the heck didn't I do this this way before? What was holding me back? Why was I allowing myself to get into this state? Why was I thinking I wasn't capable? You're very capable, Capricorn. Get off of there, okay? You've had the awakening, and now you're able to change things up a bit, change your plans up a bit, and it's going to work out for you in your favor. It's important to re remain yourself, okay? It's like, uh, you know, the awakening also is, okay, I have to get back to this one. The awakening also is Air Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Gabriel was the tremendous messenger that brought, you know, amazing messages. This is about you maybe hearing something. You've had an awakening. Maybe someone's sat down with you and they've talked to you about this and said, you know what, it's as simple as this. We can do this. We can adjust that. We can tweak your budget. We can tweak the way you're doing things. We can change things up a bit and you'll get more success out of it. So someone may have brought you in uh, some information to help you along the way. Okay, I do see you're going to be changing things up the way things have been have been before in your past and you're realizing that it wasn't working and now you can make it work. You've been given renewal for your final card for the week. And again, this is about reviewing and, re and, and evaluating a favor of assessment of the facts. And it's time to move in a new direction. But it also has to do with judgment in the traditional card. And what that means is, in the original tarot, this card was named judgment. Okay, it was named judgment. And while this name and its imagery present the perception, okay, of being judged by someone else, with this card, it doesn't mean that, okay? The card is more to do with how we see our own actions than how others perceive them, okay? This is moving on in a new direction. This is, you've looked at the past, you've re, you've reevaluated where you were, okay, with this awakening card, all right? You were stuck in a situation and now you're able to get off and get out of limbo and do this. Renewal indicates that we've come a very long way and have seen amazing and wonderful things, and we can tap into those things, okay? It's now time to pause and review your past so that you can understand where you are and where you want to be. Renewal calls you to move in a new direction so that you can feel you're not at a crossroads and feel more optimistic about any endings that may be near. So it's ending something to move on to in a new direction. Okay, realizing that, you know, your past is your past, what happened in the past that wasn't working, now you've got this opportunity to move forward, Capricorn. It's amazing. So, okay, so you've got big decisions to make and you're ready to make them now, both emotionally and spiritually. It's like a calling, you know, it's like your destiny to for you to move forward for any possibilities because they're endless. So this is a great way to end your week, my beautiful Capricorns, okay? Wonderful, wonderful, going in a new direction. You you realize that, you know, you when you were here, this wasn't where you wanted to be, or here, you've given this up now, okay? Now you've had this epiphany, this awakening to change things and tweak things up to go in your new direction. Beautiful. Okay, Capricorn, it is February. It is the month of love and romance. So I decided to choose Whispers of Love, the angel, uh, pardon me, the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. And the cards you got, and it's gorgeous. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. 
So, you know, this is about you setting your plans in motion, sitting there, doing your meditation, doing your reflection, thinking about these things. And you know what? You will get that awakening and you will realize the direction that you need to move. And that's what these cards talked about here. Being in a, you know, being in a funk, being in a, in a situation where you didn't see anything getting better and realizing that, you know, it was all in your head. You've allowed that negativity or whoever uh, put those ideas in your head to take precedence. And then you had that awakening and you said, I don't want to be here. I want, I want my future to be happy again. I want to know what it is I have to do to make it happen. And you did, okay? You tweak things and change things up because now you're going with the renewal in that new direction. So be in the present, thinking about your future all the time, and you can make it happen. Beautiful card. Now here's your romance card. And you know I don't do romance videos, but I do romance readings, and it is February. So here's your romance message. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So some of you have been wishing for this. You've been hoping for this. You've been praying for this. You've been manifesting this. You've been meditating on this. And now you're going to see this come to fruition. Some of you are actually going to be meeting your soulmate. This is February, my beautiful Capricorns. And maybe you've just met someone and you're going to take them out for a beautiful evening of love and uh, and communication. So this is a great card for February for some of you Capricorns. You have worked hard towards this endeavor and you're being looked upon by the Divine Spirit and by the universe and you're going to see someone new come into your life. Here is the Archangel Raphael healing message today. Second opinion. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, guide me to the best health care professionals for this situation. So some of you may be, um, you know, struggling right now with a health issue. It could be spiritual, emotional, mental, or physical. And <coughs> you feel stuck in a situation that's not moving as quickly as you wished it could when it comes to your all-over well-being. So, <coughs> excuse me, this card calls for you to look into getting a second opinion. And you have that right. This is your body. This is your right. So if you're seeing a physician who you trust and, you know, has been quite good for you, uh, if you feel that a specialist is, you know, necessary at this point because perhaps the form of, uh, you know, the form of healing isn't working, uh, go in and have a discussion with your doctor about that. See if a second opinion is, uh, you know, in order there for you. Some of you may just take the bull by the horns and include along with your doctor's prescription and uh, and uh, system that he's, he, he's, he's um, giving to you to help you heal. You may want to look into holistic healing as well of some form, but make sure you check with your physician if this will not interact with anything uh, negatively that he is giving you as well. You're entitled to this second opinion, my dear Capricorns. This is your life and your body. So do what it is you need to do uh, to find the answers and get you on that path to healing. Well, my beautiful Capricorns, I hope you have a beautiful remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to the week of February the 4th to the 11th. And I'll see you again next week and know my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns, I stand in the circle of light and love for you.